Our guest today is a financial whiz on everything from entrepreneurship to home ownership. And he's also an esteemed author, having written three books, the latest of which is I Quit Being Broke. And he's going to show us how to quit being broke today. Thank you so much for joining us, Paul D. Jones. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Thank welcome. you for letting me be here. 411. All right. Well, I'm glad to be here. That's the 411 for now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, yep. We just want them to know the 411 on what you got going on. Yes. And uh, so Kizzy's going to start. Yes. So, I mean, you know, you started the book, I Quit Being Broke. Mm -hmm. And it's dovetailing with actually some seminars you're working with. Yes. Big, big, while understanding the little. Talk yes. to us about that. Well, the, the whole concept of think big is it, dream big. But mm -hmm. to get the big dream, there are a whole bunch of little things that you have to take care of. Mm -hmm. You know, so what people do sometimes, they, they stop themselves from dreaming because they say, oh, how do I do that? Yeah. Well, you can do it. It's mm -hmm. just do this first step. Then once okay. you get that step done, let's go to the next step. And what the Financial Literacy University does, it's a three to four hour uh, seminar. And it's not just me standing in front of the room talking or lecturing. Mm -hmm. We have fun. You know, so right. you're, you're going active. to laugh. Mm -hmm. um, we so we do things. Can be funny. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, yeah. We can we can enjoy ourselves, but right. it's it's teaching financial literacy, but not just from like a seeming classroom aspect. So a lot of times, people will come to one of the uh, workshops and they'll think and they're just coming in, and the next thing you know, I got them up and dancing and they're got them thinking bigger, and then they're like, right. wow. Right. But that's what causes people to retain information. Mm -hmm. Right. So when it's fun. When it's fun. So mm -hmm. it's like you know what life should be fun. Yeah, it should be it profitable, mm -hmm. and it should be exciting. Right. So that's the only thing I can bring is fun, profits, and excitement. <laughs> well, that's so, good. Let me grab you a little bit. Yeah. 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 All right. No, but, but, I mean, one of the, the things that you go into in the seminar, you also talk yeah. about real estate as well. Now yes. that the market's kind of turning around, how can somebody break into that if they want well, to do it? The way I talk about real estate is not from the standpoint of the way people think. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at it as you becoming the bank. Well, when you really want to buy a home, where, where do you go? To the bank. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So you got all these people out here renting, and people are saying, oh, the market's good, the market's bad. Well, when the market's good, somebody's paying rent. Yeah. When the market's bad, somebody's, somebody's paying, paying rent. rent. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? Then the market's always good because somebody wow, always needs wow. to pay rent. That's a really now, in, in, right in certain places in the country, like where I grew up in Rockford, Illinois, in Beloit, Wisconsin, you can get a three bedroom home for forty or fifty or sixty thousand dollars. People are like, What? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Well you got people driving forty, fifty, and sixty thousand dollars. That's a depreciation. Right. So wow. if you got a husband and a wife team or young folks, you're getting with the girl guy and you get with the, the uh female, you go make it work out, you're saying, Okay, honey, we're gonna have a future together. Well what I'm saying is now let's plan it. Right. So you can start investing and you can think like a bank. And as you think like a bank now, it may have taken five years, it may have taken seven years, mm -hmm. but you you own a place outright. You didn't get a loan. So you're I'm saying not talking do about not debt. get a loan. So you're saying... Buy that bad boy. Wow. Let somebody else stay in it. So look at it this way. A three-bedroom home, let's say, because I want to keep math simple, let's just say that's $800 a month. Well, that's mm -hmm. $10,000 a year. Mm -hmm. 10000 right. a year times four years or five years, that's forty to fifty thousand dollars. You made all of your money back. Right. But right. where can you take fifty thousand dollars and put it in the bank mm -hmm. Never, and make ten thousand dollars a year? Never happened. That's not gonna happen. You but, can't. But it's the steps. It's you the know, steps. it's someone says buy over rent. A rental you can just Get a, a mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. You could just get a little down payment. It's not. It really mm -hmm. is a down payment it is. for a security deposit. Yeah, mm -hmm. first and last right, month's first rent. First and last yeah. month rent and all that yeah. stuff. So it's just delayed gratification. It's but, planning. But we it's live planning. in a microwave world, and yes. everybody wants everything fast. So what do you suggest? How do you? Well, we have to understand when we say we want everything fast, and we do understand that we live in a microwave world and a microwave society. Mm -hmm. However, you know, let's look at it this way: when you're, if you're a forty-five-year-old, think back to when you're a twenty. Mm -hmm. So you, that means you have been working for the last twenty-five years. Mm -hmm. Now that also means you have another twenty-five more years to go to work. True. Did you really want to be working that hard? Well, you have to work. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Right. Right. Do it because you love to. Do it because you want to. But when the boss man acts up or boss lady acts up, mm -hmm. you can say, you know what? Uh, 
you thought I was working for you all oh. these years, but you was actually working for me. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Because think about wow. this. When you so actually good. schedule for success, you actually create a, a life plan. You say, you know what? This is the life that I want, and I'm going to stick to this budget. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people have called me and said, you know what, Brother Paulie, I need some money. I need to do this and that. And I'll tell them, it's not in my budget. I'm not saying I don't have the money. I'm not going to tell them a lie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, that's not in my budget because I already pre-planned my budget so that I can hit this certain level by a certain time in life. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take off that plan, you throw my budget off. That's, that's an interesting way of saying no. Right. So don't call don't me for no. any money because it's out of my budget. It's not in my budget. Your bad planning wasn't in my budget. Wow. <laughs> You know, so now I understand. I, I'm, I'm a big giver, so someone could look up and see I'm, I, I do that. But my whole point is, if you look and you see that, wow, wow. a growth fund, you're working at the job. Think about this, gross and net. Mm -hmm. Your check is net. Mm -hmm. But we're not utilizing the tax-deferred situations that we can use. Mm -hmm. So when you put your money in a growth fund, that comes off of the growth. Mm, right, right, for your pre-tax. Right, income. because it's mm -hmm. tax deferred. So mm -hmm. you can do that, but we're not utilizing that because we say we want to live in a microwave society. So you mean right. like in your 401k? Your 401k, the, raw, the 401k is not bringing as much, but there are good, decent uh, growth funds out here. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I just say, you know, even if it's a Roth IRA, you're putting money up. And if a person says, well, you know what, I want to put money up so that I can go buy a home. Well, buy your first home. Mm -hmm. You know, then keep putting money up because now you have the investment property but the investment property either you partner with a bank mm -hmm. you know that's why I teach in the financial literacy the university partner I'll with partner with this bank but I eventually will have to get rid of this partner right exactly you gotta pay off the because the, the partner is yeah. in first position mm -hmm. right well you're an owner you have to think like an owner in everything that you do so mm -hmm. people who think like owners put themselves in first position right so therefore, when you say, you know what, I, I own this house outright, now I'm going to get another one. Great. Well, let's back all the way up then. To be able to have that mm -hmm. partner of a bank, mm -hmm. your credit must be right. I want to go back to what you said actually before we started taping. Yeah. You were talking about the difference between dreams and goals and yes. how to, to reach that. Talk a little bit more about what that takes. A absolutely. Well, the main thing is once you look at your dream and don't let someone say, well, be realistic. Well, being realistic is why it's called a dream. Right. You know, most people are saying be realistic because they're dumbing down to their own ability, not getting you stepped up to what your true ability is. Right. Mm -hmm. So therefore, my dream for my home and my family and my life was bigger than maybe what somebody else did is or was so therefore when I speak my vision and my dream they were like oh why do you need a house that big why do you need a car like that well I'm not asking you to pay for it mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so but what I am going to do <laughs> is I'm going to put a plan together right. and I'm going to start working these plans so therefore in the beginning me and my wife were working 8, 10, 12 hour days combined working we took the money and we did what we had to do from there but most people capped themselves at mm -hmm. seven or eight hours. Mm -hmm. And they said, I did my eight hours. I'm like, well, who told you to stop at eight hours? Right. Mm -hmm. See, what you do from nine to five, that may be your employer's or your overseer's time. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. But what mm -hmm. you do from five to nine, that's right. your time. That's what gets you free. Mm -hmm. That's what puts you into a position to do better in life. Right. So we have to be able to say, you know what, I, I do have a dream, I have a certain way that I want my life to be, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do the necessary things. And if and if you make a mistake, you will make a mistake. Don't get down on yourself. Get back up and keep on going. Mm -hmm. So that's what all the books were, were from, yes. is that I've, I've been there and done that. Yes, yeah, so and speaking of books, it's three books. <laughs> yes, there we go. Right. Do you do uh, financial personal personal coaching? Yes. Because, yeah, because this seems like this, you mm -hmm. can take people to from here to here. Insurmountable the, levels. The key is, like just for me, I tell people and I reveal it, I'm an entrepreneur by, by heart. I'm an entrepreneur by trade. Mm -hmm. I'm a business owner. I have a passion. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But I love people. But what about direct marketing? Because I mm -hmm. know a lot of people mm -hmm. get into entrepreneurship mm -hmm. through direct marketing. What do you think about that? Uh, my first million was made in direct marketing. Really? What? That's get what out. No. Really? Seriously? Yes. I always 
Oh, yeah. wow. So wow. I'm, I'm surprised I'm that you're not here. I am the product of what punk people say it wouldn't work. I look at them like, well, what work did you me? do? <laughs> you know, really? net worth and why we now have our company, JMG Net Worth or Net Worth in general, people need to focus on the net worth. Okay. Having a high income is one thing, but it's how you retain it to create a net worth. Direct sales helps you do that because you can afford it, you can do it. All you have to do is stick to it and not let people to to tear you from it. That is oh, amazing. Wow. That I'm amazing. so surprised that so, you said that. Wow. And so am I. I'm like shocked. <laughs> but I mean, where can people find out? You're gonna you're going on a tour with the book. You also have your financial yes. literacy university. Yes. Where can they find more information? They can go to pauldjones.com. That's mm-hmm. my full name, pauldjones.com. And on there they can click the Twitter link, the Instagrams. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash I quit being broke. I quit being broke. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, I do. So they can Thank do that you. and uh, just stay in touch with me. And we want to help and serve everybody as many people as we can who really truly want a better life. I'll do my part as much as I can. We okay. would totally love for you to come back. Yes. Like a check in, maybe a final uh, financial check in or financial check up or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You let me know. I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. Yes.